there we are. Hey, everybody. Is anybody... Are we here? Is anybody Hello, out there? Out there. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. I think we will. Meanwhile, I'm going to play with this Infinity Cube. Is that like a, an Infinity Gauntlet? Well, no. It's I, I mean... It, I could put a bunch of these on the gauntlet. Look, hello. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi, Lego Ninja 13, Fallen Tree 23, Aqua Mike TV, Remy Baker. There we go. Tornado. Oh my goodness, so much Hi, better. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Gosh, w it looked all the same to us. I know. So is that better? Nothing Are we changed. here now? Can you hear us? Can you see us? Oh, yay. Oh, I'm good. So glad. Very good. All right. Excellent. Well, Mondays, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where we left off, is we had established it was Monday, right? Mm -hmm. So, ahoy hoy, everyone. I hope, um, I don't know at what point everything, like, failed, but <laughs> um, we're well, back. But we're back now, and we have a show in store. We do have a show in store. We have stuff going on. It's happening on. live right now. All right, so excellent. Chick, finally, yes, I agree. So I'm not quite sure how we did, but yes, Joshua Steele, happy birthday. We actually said that. I'm not, again, you know what? Let's just pretend like okay. we're starting all over again. Hi, I'm Richard. Uh, uh, well, not maybe not that far back, <laughs> but hi. Um, I... <laughs> so hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm not quite sure what happened, but welcome back. Um and also, thank you so much to uh, to everybody for rejoining us. On I know here, for so. finding there us over go. here. Well, why don't we start right in? Uh, sh are we gonna say hi to people? We got we got hello to everyone, right? I think, I think but now did the Cardies are back. Monica Berry is here. Le Lego Ninja Thirteen. Um, There's a lot of people there. There is there is a lot of people here. So there we go. Everybody's back. Okay. So, and so, but but first, I wanted to say happy birthday, Joshua Steele. It's your thirteenth birthday today. So Happy thanks birthday. for joining us. We're so glad. And I think that was like right around the time when people stopped being able to see what yeah. we hear. So um, so we want to make sure you hear that. Yeah. Happy so there birthday. you go. Happy birthday. Um, yes. And ahoy hoy again, everyone. Uh, thanks uh, for, for heading back. All right. Well, we have Disney pins. We do have Disney pins. What have you got today? Well, I'm working on the train again for Fab Max. So I've got the monorail here. And one of these days, I'm gonna have go. the Lego monorail too. And I'm, I am, uh, with some. I need some pixie dust today, so Yay. I'm going with this Tinkerbell, who kind of has terrifying eyes, I have to say. But um, I do love the, I do love this pen. It's a good one. So there we go. There you go. And I've got my awesome uh, Lego skull and crossbones shirt today. So it always makes me think of up in Portland sausage lug because they have a, a skull and crossbones, but it's two Lego sausages. Because yeah. hot dogs are hilarious. Hot dogs are always hilarious. And we have there like we got some sand green sausages in a in a set not too long ago. Yeah, I've actually <laughs> seen. Is it sausage lug who has those stickers that's a flag made of all the different Lego hot dogs? Yes, we colors. have that. Yeah, we have that around somewhere. Mm. Yeah, so I think people are still coming back. So okay. yeah, the, those eyes are a little creepy, right? Like they're not colored in, so they no, look kind of they're like, kind of she's mm. zombie Tinkerbell, <laughs> tiny. See, that wouldn't be so scary, tiny flying zombies. <laughs> um, oh my goodness! All right, so anywho, you have to get out your zombie swatter. Well, we would. And let's uh, we're gonna do let's we're gonna redo our hellos because we didn't get to them before. Uh, well, we did, but they were frozen. So yep. Albert Lee is here. Aqua Mike TV. Brickworm. Christopher Tiger King for President Chalice. Cornado. Debo Bricks. Fallen Tree Twenty Three. Hooded One. Jeff McElwee. Uh, John Latrell. Joshua Steele. Lego Ninja Thirteen. Matthew Builds Bricks. Mini Fig Chick, Chick. Monica Berry. Moto. Moto. Peter Hornberger. Remy Baker. Rob Ketcherside. Rob Zaccardi, Smoke Up Johnny, um, Wilfred, Bonsoir, uh, Zach Martinez, Zarakino, Kim is here. So welcome and, back, everyone. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Remy Baker, uh, by the way, uh, congratulations on your uh, 300 Instagram followers. That's awesome. And, um, and so congratulations on Lego sharing your uh, pictures. That's so awesome. 
There that's you go. so rewarding, right? Like we don't do things for awards, but how cool when they're recognized. Right. Oh, and for apples, hello. I don't know. We do things a little for awards. <laughs> a little, right? Well, like maybe if you're going to show at a convention, it's nice if people are like, "Yay, we love your thing." Yeah, it's like we're and uh, yes, he did he got he did got a double a double dose. Um there you go. So, oh, the daily brick is here. How's it going? Um yeah, isn't that crazy? I What's remember that? Remy Baker saying it was crazy waking up to that, and I remember when Oh yeah. Um when our first pieces ever made it on Brothers Brick, like we woke up in the morning and it was it. like it was a huge amount of likes. I was like, What happened? There yeah, must have it's been just something. like, like, like and then someone's like, Oh my goodness, haven't you seen so yes. and so? So that was great. That was really <laughs> inspiring. It it caused me or it made me uh it was like, oh, people like what I'm building. I should build more. I yeah, build more. yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so what's yes, going on? The big, cup, the big cup is back. It's the big one, right? Big, I love this cup. Mm. It makes my days happy. So, um, all right, so we so we actually built all weekend. We did. We were working on a super secret project. Another right. Super secret project, which, right? Which we can actually, which we will be revealing more of on Thursday, but we can show you, like, I mean, I feel like we can show you, like, a little bit of it as long yeah. as we don't talk. We're not going to talk about what the project is or what it's for or anything else. But we're, we're just, just going to show, show you a sneak peek, peek cool. a little bit, right? Um, so, golly, here, I'll push see. these off to the side. I'm separating out um, vintage. Um, windows that I think I might use on my train. So this Check is this what I can share with you of yeah, what we've enough. got done so far. Now, <laughs> can we? Um, can you turn it down a little bit? Um, not really. Should I, should I turn the brightness down? Yeah, like, why don't you turn here, off the front I'll light a little bit? I'll just modify the light here. So we, yeah. So this is an all white, and if you, um, I think you can see. We have some some other little things planned for oh. it. All right. Oh yeah. It's okay. a much so it's we'll, a much larger project, but yeah, we'll save the secrets. Um, it does look pretty cool when it's lit up from behind. Yeah, we have lighting. some we have some plans for that. Yeah, we have some plans. Right. For Check lighting. that out. Even the even the plate stripe is shining. Yeah. So, anyway, that is something that we are working on. So we worked we on will, it. All weekend, all day, both days. Yep, yep, yep. And we will we will have more more on that later. Later this week. So that's right? exciting. <laughs> and so what that means also is that we weren't working on Fab Max at the same time, right? Right. But you know, I have to say the most exciting part about that was the dome. We had so much fun building that dome. Yeah, I think that was a great collaborative effort that Yeah, it was really it was um that was a lot of fun to build. So anyway. More on that later. On. Maybe we use red windows. So, uh, okay. Um, what is... Um, oh, the white stain... With the, with the stained glass. And we actually did a stained glass. There's a picture of the stained glass. Um, it's... I can show you. Oh, yeah. I'll just say that it's it's sideways built. All right. Yeah, because we thought the vertical 1x2s... Here, what if we cover over a little bit there? We thought the vertical one by twos made nicer lines than horizontal ones would, and added to the verticality of the piece. Yeah, so so we're gonna stick that in there sideways, built. So that'll be fun. Yeah, fun project. I like that one. Fun project. Hey, Shane Levan's back. How's it going? Hey, do you have any extra? <laughs> you said you had extra bowls, right? I'm excited um, about these. They are over there next to the to the shelving. I had one yes. idea about what I was going to do for the windows on the train, and now I get the windows open, and I have other ideas. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. We'll be showing, um, we'll show a little bit more about how we built that. Um, uh, uh, we'll show you a little bit more about how we built that and stuff on a later later show. Yep. Um, but we did decide um, we are going to next Monday... Uh, a, a couple of things. Next Monday, we are we are going to be doing our our motors tutorial. Oh so yeah, our we'll motors do that. motors basics. Um, so that's what we will be working on. Um, um hey Flynn, yes. you know what that um that sound in the distance there meant is that I need to go and um address 
a check on something, something? In, the, in the other room. All right, so you I'm just going to get that. these cool windows out. But look at those for the train. Oh yeah, we found some cool vintage train windows. This one doesn't have. Yeah, glass and in it, but so this may go. be the front of the locomotive right there. I think I'm not sure. Yeah. But we'll get more into trains later. Should we start with your uh, with your project? Yeah. And we also have stickers coming up. So I'm oh do it with this, goodness. Right? Okay. Well, we'll wait till you're done, and then we'll do stickers okay. then because you can't do stickers without Sound Richard. Of a scary door. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, yes, we are talking about Fab Max. So. One of the big um, the things, like we've been working on the city and stuff like that, and I have to, um... oh, thank you, Zach Martinez. Yeah, it's fun, right? We need to, although we need to trim it down. Like, it's getting a little, like, it's just sort of turning into a mass backdrop, <laughs> but I love it. Um, so, anyway, so uh, Richard's going to be working on the train. I am going to be wor uh, working on um, my... Uh, Sushi barge, which we've been talking about since the very beginning, it was pretty much like the first thing that I thought of. And I am um, trying to figure out how to make that happen. Now, we got a water wheel that I want to use, a Fabuland water wheel, and it's awesome, but I can't find it. <laughs> like, it's gone somewhere. Um, but what I figured I could do, sorry about that, was just moving the secret project out of the way. Um, what I did do is I went into my basement where I happen to know that I purchased a while back um, this friend's, like, party boat thing, right? Um, oh, yeah, Jeff, this is, you are on Planet Puns. Puns are welcome, I must say. Um, so this is this, like, friend's party boat. And I also found this bag of completely bald mini dolls. <laughs> like there's lots of them. And I think our friend Drew gave the gave those to us a long time ago. Um, really, really um, ridiculous and silly. I think I might like. Maybe I'm just gonna start including one of these in prize packs. Every prize pack comes with a bald mini doll. <laughs> I think maybe that's what needs to happen. But anyway, the point being is I have this boat, and it's already a boat. Um, so why not go, um, especially since we're trying to do lots of things, and I, um, if you remember um, that Fabuland was actually made to be a bridge between regular Lego and Duplo, so it's all about kind of like big, chunky parts. So... I think what I'm gonna do here is I wanna remove all of the, um, these sort of like the friends parts of it, right? Um, I have, and just use the bow of the ship and maybe two of these lower sections to kind of base it on, all right? So, let's see. I'm just gonna start taking, here I'm gonna switch to the the weird, that weird camera that we hardly ever use. <laughs> there we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm going to move this out of the way. Wow, look at that. Ms. Thing uh, may have to get her job back. Now, you know what's really weird is I had already preset this not to be, um, auto, to be autofocus, so I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But anyway, there we go. All right, so I've got this friend's boat. Yes, it's dusty, by the way. It is dusty. But I still think um, it's been sitting in a box in the basement for a while. <laughs> um, whoa, woohoo! So don't forget, um, we are, because um, we wanted to give everybody a chance to, to work on um, Fab Max, we are not doing a, a build challenge this week. Um, it is just being left open for people to go ahead and work on their Fab Max builds. Um, if, you're, if you're not sure what Fab Max is, it's um, Fabuland um, mixed with um, 
Mad Max, the Mad Max movie. So, and Fabuland, if you know what that is, was a line of uh, that was of toys that was put out by Lego in the late '70s and throughout the '80s that featured anthropomorphic animal characters, um, like in sort of like a cute, cutesy town. All right, this has got lots of look at this, this <laughs> beds and stuff in it. All right, let's see. Wow, this is really dusty. It's just like spilled dust all over my table. This is gross. But it does have a, I, there's a, pur there's a purple tiara, so I guess that's good. <laughs> very silly. Let's brighten this up just a hair. There we go, that looks much better. Right, get some of that dust out of the way. Woo! I think I'm gonna have to get the, um, I think I'm gonna have to get the, the dust buster thing and dust this off, because this is really, mm. I literally like pulled it out of the basement like right behind, um, right before the show. <laughs> Just like running, running, running. Oh my goodness. All right. So it looks like he's got some of these on the bottom. So I'm thinking if I remove, um, I feel like if I remove one of these, that I should be able to do to do that, right? I think that seems like a good size. Like I can have my water wheel on there. There'll be enough room for a little shack, and I I need to figure out whether it's gonna fit in the space that we have <laughs> because we have a certain amount of space set aside. So let's see. Um, oh, what am I doing here? Why am I using my fingers when I have clicky um, on the job? This particular clicky is not super excited about doing its job. <laughs> uh, the boat bottom is not one piece. It's actually um, multiple pieces, um, Aquamic TV. I'll show you um, here in a second. Let me get these tiles off without breaking them, hopefully. So check it out. <laughs> you can see how filthy it is. Um, that is three separate pieces that are held together. There you can kind of see, they're held together with um, um, Technic pins. Here, I'll pull one of these off, so. There you go, see, so Technic pins. There you go. Yeah, I have the, the coral color. Um, no, it exists, Cor the coral color stuff exists, and actually if you go, um, there's one of our, um, one of our streams, we talked about that stuff. Um, actually, several of our streams, and now I don't recall. Oh, here it is. Color Coral. It's um, goo. And you can also go and um, check it out on the... Um, gosh, I wish I could remember what article it, it was, but we do have a link on our website to the Amazon link for this stuff. But um, it's great. I mean, just check this out. So they're filthy. Clean. <laughs> right? It was so good. Um, so this stuff is great for getting lots of um, goo. But it does, you know, of course, get kind of filthy at a certain point. You can kind of see the lid where it's gotten a little gross. Ugh, my goodness. <laughs> no, you were not hallucinating. You were not. Um... All right, so I got most of the dirt off of this. Now it also comes with this piece, which is, um, now this is the little pointy part on the bottom. Um, so if you can see, if you can see that, that is a cool little, I love this little piece. I have this in brown also. And of course it's gonna, it's gonna connect. And let's hear, let's put these gliders back on. I call them that they're like they have some kind of official name that I don't know but um, it doesn't smell bad uh, Jamie Bricker it's not bad it's kind of lemony it's got kind of like a you know lemon cleaner scent it's not terrible uh, let's see it does kind of look like a jaw right if you were making a skeleton this would make a great yeah it would make a great jaw oops 
Look at that. There's actually some extra pieces stuck on there. All right, so now this piece fits right on here. Well, it did fit right on here at some point in its life. There we go. Uh, there is um, there is some spaces left open, and it came, like the original one came with these um, inverse slopes here. Whoops, that you can put on depending, I guess, on what kind of boat you're trying to make. But we can go ahead and leave those on. And there you go. There is, I mean, there is, look at that. It's already like, yeah, there you go. All right. Now, I do have the option of adding on another piece if I want, but honestly, like just kind of looking at the map of it, which is over here, um, this is this is as big as it can be. This is it. So I would definitely, um, yeah, I would definitely have, this is gonna have to be the size of it, which is fine. Not a big deal. Um, all right, so I have a lot of our, um, a lot of our pieces set aside here, and it looks like if I want to stick with the, um, if I want to just go ahead and stick with um, Fabuland colors, I could make this bottom part, like parts of it red, or maybe there's a stripe in it, but we've already got this, like such a great shape here. And I know I'm going to have that red and yellow water wheel. Um, uh, I know I'm going to have that big water wheel on here. So I don't necessarily want to, um, add too many colors into the base of the boat. So I think what I'll probably do is just go ahead and start adding on just regular white, I think just regular white bricks is probably gonna be the best. That's one of the things that's nice about working um, with the, uh, in the, the Fabuland style is it's all about like chunky colors and stuff like that. So you can, um, you know, you can feel free to use just big, like, regular 2 by 4 bricks. Um, which is funny because those are often the harder bricks to find. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're, if you're anything like us, you have a, um, a lot of different styles of bricks, but not necessarily a lot of um, 2 by 4 bricks. Uh, what, you know, like what we consider basic building bricks. Um, let me see. I feel like I want to, I need to find my white bricks, but I don't want to just like go off camera because it sounds like ridiculously. Um, let me see. Let's do this. Let's go to our, let's go to here. There. Now you can look at that little thing while I run away and look for my white bricks. <laughs> Luckily, they were close. So I'm going to go ahead and just start using regular bricks here. Now I wonder to what degree I kind of love this little thing, but no boat would have a little hole in it. But if you used it, like if you were going to detail out the inside of the boat, that would be an excellent thing to have for a little storage or whatever. Um, let's see. Go ahead and use these. And I think we're going to have to do sort of a, I don't know, kind of like a flat back. Yeah. I think if we're going to make it look right, it's going to need to be, it's going to need to be flat like that. Here we go. Um, a color, you know what? A color stripe would be nice. I don't, um, I don't mind the idea of a color stripe. I wonder, um, again, like with that big water wheel being here, I wonder, and, and of course what I discovered with, um, uh, what I discovered was that it was difficult to do a, um, any kind of detailing with plates because they looked too thin for the... Um, they look too thin for the rest of the style. 
this fatty line has very got a very chunky style and you can see i'm using some pretty beat up bricks here all right um so so maybe like a color stripe like this you think and see this is the weird stuff i think about i'm like so would the stripe go all the way around the back and I'm trying to remember, like, my uncle had a boat when we were kids that we used to go out in all the time. And I'm trying to remember, like, does this, did the stripe go all the way around the back? That's such, so weird. The things that you can't remember when you don't have a reference. I know that we've been, I know we've talked about that before, but um, I think it's, I think it's totally true. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Yeah, what to see? You want to see what powers it? Well, it's got a, It definitely has a water wheel. So, um, and we were actually thinking because we have that. Um, I know you all saw we have that windmill uh, that we put together last time, and I think we were talking about we just got like le gray Lego string, like a big amount of it. I mean, not enormous amount, but enough. Um, that we could do something interesting with it. And I was considering running Lego string from the windmill down to the different buildings as if the windmill was charging the town, right? So <laughs> I was considering possibly that. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that they go just down the sides too. That's my thought. Um, so I am, that's what I think that's what I'll do. And I do like that, that's a great idea. Thank you, uh, Monica, or who, I'm not sure who was it that suggested it, but yes, I think that's a great idea. See, this is how Richard and I work together. I would be putting a scene and say, why don't you put a stripe in there? And actually, if it wasn't around, what would happen was I would be, um, I would be building it and I would get it most of the way done and be like, you know what, this really needs a stripe. <laughs> I'm terrible about stuff like that. Um, I am noticing, though, that I'm going to probably have to... Um, the, hmm. Yeah, I am noticing that I'm, I'm probably going to have to fill a lot of this in in order for it to... Uh, like with plates, in order for it to come up to the level like where I want my seats to be. Um, so, But that's not so much of a problem. Uh, and now, okay, so we were talking about the back and doing it. So what do you think, like stripe? I don't know. I think the stripe maybe will end there, especially because you're not going to see, there's going to be a portion of it that is covered up by that water wheel, all right? Um, so it's, it's so bad. My solution to everything is like, oh, well, the sh the, there's not enough room um, for the water wheel. Uh, with everything else, okay, well, we'll just have to make the piece bigger <laughs> to accommodate the water wheel. <laughs> I don't know. What is the boat's name? What is the boat's name? I don't know. It needs a word. Um, here we go. All right. Stopping by. Oh, okay. Thanks, WGJL Builds. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and we will see you on Sundays when you are able to be here. I know that's um, starting to definitely become a thing for people, is being able to be here when uh, the stream is actually going on. So um, here we go. This is very exciting. I hope, so does everybody have their, um, like, how far along are people? I'm wondering. Oh, yeah, the reddish-brown versions, and you had to leave the inside floor uncovered because of the reddish-brown curse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I also, I don't want to... Um, I, because I want to have a bar where people are sitting, and I do want it to be slightly below regular, you know, like, plate level, or, I mean, slightly below the edge of the boat, because, you know, boat has a little edge to it um and i might end up having to like build up a little bit more right um so i think that doesn't look bad that's a good start and you know again our water wheel is going to be like kind of perched on the back so now i it feels like i need to fill in this like i was saying i need to fill in this inner area 
with a bunch of plates so that there is a place for the um, uh, for the people to sit. Right? There has to be a place for people to sit. Or animals to sit, I should say. And I just found out that a friend of ours is sending us some Fabuland figures, and I'm very excited because there's an elephant in there, and we don't have an elephant, and I've been really, really wanting an elephant. Um, uh, okay, so that's probably good enough, and now I can fill in this area. Now, I know that we don't have... Um, I know that we don't have a lot of, um, golly, I know that we don't have a lot of white plates. So I'm probably gonna opt for, um, for gray, which is totally in, uh, uh, which is totally in the color scheme. Um, and I'm thinking now that, golly, maybe this is too high up. Well, I guess it could be like a flat, like a flat boat, right? All right, so I'm going to grab some gray plates and fill in here. All right, let's see. Oh, so I know we were talking about Friday since we're not doing our regular, um, our regular thing. Um, we are going to be doing a, like, a sort of, like, best of the, um, a, like a best of slideshow. Um, so sort of the best of um, some of our favorite picks of um, builds that we've liked over our past several months of doing uh, doing the show here. So I'm definitely excited about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's see. So yeah, we don't want this to be too soft. So this is great. Like, this is a great time for things like this to come in. Like, if you have a bunch of these drawer things and you're like, what am I supposed to do with it? Well, this, these make great, like, hidden, hidden supports, right? So now I've got support in through here and I can actually press down on here a little bit. Um, let's see, will this fit here? Ah, look at that. Perfect fit. Well, actually, it's a little bit shorter. But maybe this one? Nope, same size. Uh, all right, well, fortunately, I'm pretty sure I have more. And another thing, too, is like I don't even have to be using white under here. Bye, Moto. We'll see you later. Um, right? There's going to be... Um, I can use any color under here. Nobody's going to see this. And I happen to know that <clears throat> I have a ton of those little, um, these guys in purple. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's also just as easy to grab a color I know I'm not going to be using. Um, and also, this gives me the opportunity to do kind of like a, a um, like the designers do in their Lego sets, I can use some of my favorite colors and hide them. <laughs> Whoa! I can use some of my favorite colors and hide them in the build. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my some of my pink bricks um, right here. There's the gray curse. Oh, what's the great curse? The gray curse. Um, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Well, everybody, you know what time it is. I'm just noticing right now the time. Um, so I'm going to... Oh, are you talking about the discolored? Like this discolored gray? I love it. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to, I mean, actually want to use it. And you may not even see this, right? Um, but yeah, look at the difference in color there. Right? But... I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. There we go. Still not... Dang it. I'll do that. Alright, so now I've got some supports underneath. And we can take a pause, um, if you will. <laughs> um, 
we can take a pause for um, our one of our favorite times of the show. It's my, uh, my favorite and yours, everyone. And I have to do this one by myself, so it's going to take me a second to get this all sorted. Um, whoop, here we go. And... It's Logan Cookie time. Come on, Bubba. Hi. Here he is. This is always different without Richard. So I usually hold them in a bit. You're being very still today. America, can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Good boy. Very good. Oh, look. Here's another one. You excited? All right. Can you catch this one? Oh, so close. See, I'm terrible. I'm the worst at throwing the treats. All right. Come on. One more. All right, you get one more because you're being so good, and Daddy's not here. Uh oh, he knows where they where the things are. Here we go. All right, here we go. And oh, what a good boy! What a good boy! Yay, Logan Cookie time! All right, there we go. Look at this, my mouse and my, usually don't have to look at my production. Sorry about that. There you go, cookies. Um, all right, so back to the barge, if you will. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these little things underneath. Um, all right. So I wanna make sure that I have enough supports that I'm going to be able to cover this. Now, I I think I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get creative in here, right? Like there's I'm going to have to do some um, zigzagging or some stacking of bricks and probably do some 2 by plates in here just to see what happens. Yeah, Peter, it's true. I, I will never get good if I don't practice. So I'm just going to keep on. I probably shouldn't say keep on tossing those cookies. That doesn't sound good. But I am going to keep on throwing them. <laughs> uh, all right. So. This seems like we might be able to make something sturdy on top of that. I know this is like the 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 boring underbelly. Yay! Hi, Marilyn. Welcome back. Um, sure, Joshua. Please go ahead and go ahead and send send those along. We'll definitely check them out. I'd love to see what you got for your birthday. I got an awesome, awesome Lego set for my birthday. Actually, I got a couple of awesome Lego sets, but one in particular um, that I was pretty darn excited about. I have to say. So, um, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I totally understand. Um, excitement around new Lego sets. Oh, this is uneven. Oh, bummer. All right, well, golly, that's terrible. All right, well, I guess it just means I have to move some things in a little bit. Sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. <laughs> wow, my nose is oh, super itchy now because I pulled that stuff out of the basement. And I, every time I go down to the basement, I always am not feeling awesome afterwards. Um, I think there's like mold down there or some such. Um, uh, let's see. Oh man, the fact that this is uneven is just throwing everything off. There we go. See, now that's great, but now I have this hole here that doesn't have any support on one side. Uh, that's so frustrating. Um, let's see. Maybe... It's like a puzzle, right? It's like Tetris. Um... Having trying to make sure that all the, trying to get all the pieces pieces to match. Uh, let's see. Right, and yeah. So it looks like now I'm gonna have to pretty much switch to just like regular plates. All right. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's the, a ghost that haunts the basement. And, and yes, well, I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Our building is very old. It's been around since the 20s. Um, it was built in the 20s. So our building is almost 100 years old, and it still has a lot of the same fixtures. <laughs> um, and I'm not joking. It really does have a lot of the same fixtures that it had. Um, so whatever flapper was living here and, um, you know, a hundred years ago, we still are pulling the shades down with the same rings that she did. Um, I mean, there's some, it's funny because there's some interesting features about this apartment. But, um, oh, so what is that? that on the Lego website, Frankenstein Brickheads releases tomorrow for 10 bucks. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I really, really want that. I may have to go, I may have to purchase that. But I decided, I kind of decided already what I was going to spend my, um, my points on. Um, but I'm not, golly, that's going to be, that's going to be tough. Yeah, oh, and I'm, by the way, I am saving my, so I may, I got some points, and I'm saving points up for um, uh, the Sesame Street Ideas set. I really want it. I'm very excited about it. Um, I've been excited about it since it got approved, so very um, looking forward to that. So I think that's what I'm going to spend my, my things on. All right. Uh, my points. Um, let's see. Wow, this is a weird setup. Like that. And then I'm going to have to get, um, wow, I actually do have some, like, little three by squares in here. How weird. Um, and I think maybe I'll go ahead and replace Actually, I wonder, you know what would be fun um, would be to replace all of these inverse slopes with a red inverse slope. Um, let me see. I, want to think, I think that might be more interesting. I mean, we already have the, um, we already have the thing, right? Unfortunately, this comes right off. But check this out. I could just replace these with red ones, and I think that would really add some interest. See what you guys think. Personally, I think it'll look cool. All right, and another one. Although I don't want to use, we don't have that many. <laughs> so and I want to make sure we save some for the, for the city, but, um, to make our wall cracks and stuff, but I think I can spare some enough for this. I think it's a a good cause, <laughs> if you will. Um, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness, that just popped right off. There we go. Yeah, that's not exactly like super stuck in there. Now, if I wanted to get fancy, I actually have a. Um, I actually have like a longer slope that we could put out at the front, but that might just be a little bit too silly. Um, so there we go. Right, I think that looks pretty good. I like the I like the little shot of color in the front. Makes it look a little more fabulandish. All right, so I was getting. My gray plates. Now, let's see. I'm gonna have to look for. Th there's a three. There we go. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. Richard may not jump, be able to rejoin us uh, today. He's got. Um, sounds like a pretty uh, intense work call going on in the other room. So. Um, he will see you all on Wednesday, though, for sure. Um, all right. Oops. All right, let's see. So, I've got... I kind of want to tie these together. I guess I could do this. Let me 
Ugh, it's not perfect, but yeah. What is, I ask you? <laughs> right, and now I'm gonna have to like fill in with some ridiculous like one by ones and things here, right? Um, let's see. So, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good so far about the way that this is looking. Um, I can, I mean, in my opinion, I can come back to this and that it will be boring to watch me fill out this entire thing with plates. So I want to start thinking about like what the next part of this might look like. Now, one of the things that I really loved from the, um, the barge, the, um, sorry, the monkey kid secret HQ was the tires that were, ha that hung off the side, like a tugboat. But the only problem is if this is going to have that water wheel on it, then it's not going to be that kind of boat. And you know, it's, it's kind of one of those, it's kind of one of those things where you have to decide like, okay, I really want to use that water wheel on the boat, but Ultimately, is it going to serve to push the piece forward, or am I only using it because I need, I have the part and I want to use it, and it could be used somewhere else. So um, I'm I'm thinking right now, just in terms of like the water wheel is about this wide, which means it's going to take up half of the space. And I think while it's cute and very Fabuland, I also want to make sure that this stays very Fab Max. So that's why I'm thinking I might mimic what they did on the um, the um, the Monkey Kid HQ and have tires hanging off of it. It'll add a nice round shape. It'll add some black to it. I think it'll add some interest um, and make it look a little bit more junky tugboat than um, than water wheel. Um, so just, you know, I'm just saying, I don't know what y'all think, but I think that might be a good idea, um, in a way to adjust. So we're always adjusting a little bit, right? And also there was an idea at the beginning at, uh, at 1.2 that it was kind of going to be kind of like a, like a hydrofoil and that it would have a big fan thing on the back of it. So, I mean, maybe, um, we did talk about something like that. We do have a couple of big fan pieces um, that we could technically use on, on the back. And it has that nice flat back and it's got all of these. So there's plenty of room to build something like extra onto the back of it. Um, and the way they did it on the other one, on the um, Monkey Kid one was with chain. So they just literally like took a short chain, looped it through a tire and put it on, um, and put it on the outside. So I know, let's take a look. Hang on just one second. So this is kind of how they did it on, um, on the monkey kid one. They had, you know, they had the small Lego chains and then they loop, you know, had it looped through and then hung onto the side of the boat. Let's see if we can make this work. I remember this being a pain when we did it on that, <laughs> that one, but there we go. So like right there, and I actually think I would probably use, um, uh, I would probably use bigger tires and have them hang down a little bit further, right? Very good. So I think that's I think it's kind of like where I would like to go with that. So and I think they're and, and bigger like bigger tires, slightly longer chain. Um, yeah, it's just there is. I mean, we do we do do a lot of that. Um, Yano is just like trying everything. Like, what does this work? Does this work? Does this work? Um, so, <laughs> but let's see what a bigger wheel looks like. Um, See, this is the part of building. This is the part of the of the building process that I was always afraid would be boring because when you're building, you have to get up and down a lot. So I was like, oh, nobody's gonna want to. Oh wow, man! 
I don't know if we have more of these, but if we do, these would be super cool. Um, they're kind of perfect. Now, I like these for size, but unfortunately, they're really thick, and I think, well, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. If there was a long enough... Um, to me, this seems too thick front to back, y'all. I don't know. I mean, this is kind of awesome. Like, kind of the perfect size. Not quite as thin. But, um, hmm. I have to look at... I'd, I'd have to look at what other collections of wheels that I have, but I definitely think that the that the wheels would be fun, right? Um, all right. Oh, and this is what I was talking about before. Remember I said I had a whole bunch of those purple cabinets? They make great um, little wall decorations or whatever. All right, so I have um, this. I have my box of Fabuland pieces that have not yet been used in the city. Um, so, yeah, oh, chunky wheels of different sizes uh, could be good. Yeah, I like that idea. So here I've packed away some of our, I so badly want to be able to use this slide, but I don't think the boat is the appropriate place for it. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Like, maybe you you get on across the pier, and then you get off of it on the slide. I don't know. I really want to use the slide, though. Um, so, I definitely have some... These are some prop pieces that we have. And there are still... I think we do still have a few of these window pieces left there's also these shorter window pieces which i think are really cool um so let's see here so what i was thinking of was kind of like i made this little shack and maybe it's time to move the shack from over here i had this sort of like in the middle of our town layout as sort of a little shop but I also really love the idea of having our sushi bar be made from regular Lego Fabuland pieces. Right? Now, we have this little cabinet, which I think is sort of the perfect thing. So... That way, our um, the little sushi boat has a little bet. Like that's where all the little things are, right? Now, for my taste, it's getting to be a little bit too many colors. <laughs> but I think this is the, this is the idea of it, and I have to see where else we might be able to use blue. But or maybe I would swap out the on like all of these exterior walls for yellow ones um i thought we still had some yellow walls here i kind of love the idea of using this taxi door <laughs> as something for here right i think that would be very funny um and then oops yeah and i still may again like swap around the colors of this um but what I was thinking, was so I, I really love it. It has this sort of like toy tugboat quality to it. Um, and I think I also might lengthen, like I really want a nice wide area. Because there's got to be room for the customers and there's got to be room for the chef, right? So maybe I'll even extend it further out this way to be nice and wide. And then... Um, I'm going to use some of uh, these so we've got the um, like the tables and chairs and I was thinking that it would be like a series of chairs here and maybe this is even like these are up on a two by two round so they're kind of more like stools and then there was, and then there was like a sushi bar type bar here, and that's where the and that's where the people sit. 
but I am realizing that I'm, I haven't left a lot of room for people to get off and on. <laughs> so I may have to, I may have to shrink this back up again. Um, so this is what it's going to look like from, this is what it would look like from the outside. And maybe there's only two chairs. Like I prefer to use uneven numbers if possible, but I think it's a good idea to, um, let's see. Maybe if we did something like this and moved our chairs over and snuck them up closer to each other like this. That. And then our plank, you know, like the little area where you where you get on the boat is over here. Right? I think that's a good idea. Because you want to make you want to make sure that you have room for everything, like for all of your for all of the things that you need to do. And for me, the most important part of this is, is seeing the seeing the sushi. Um, uh, and I also have some awesome pieces to use in here. I've got this ladle. There is a frying pan uh, that I definitely want to have in there. Um, although at a sushi bar. I don't know why you would need the frying pan, but it says kitchen, right? Um, all right, so I think those are the pieces that I want to use from here. And I wonder, I've been looking for a place. Uh, uh, I've been looking for a place to use these. I wonder if, um, you know, I like this, but it's almost just too cute, right? I think that's. I think that's almost too cute. It needs, uh, these we're going to have to use elsewhere, I think. <laughs> um, needs a hurl bucket for first time Fabuland sushi eaters who don't agree with raw fish. We do have, um, we do have a bucket somewhere. Like I think some, I think some trash cans or barrels out here would be, would be really great. And, um, those barrel pieces, those half round barrel pieces were originally created for Fabuland. So those are actually absolutely like, oh, you know what would be great actually. Now it's not like um it's not like uh what you were talking about so much, Joel, but um a bucket that a barrel that had fish in it out here. Right? Um and yeah it definitely does need damage and wear and those are the things that we kind of add on um after we've like after we've built yeah and spikes for sure it needs a lot of it needs a lot more like danger i think <laughs> i think it needs danger um so yeah i think this is gonna be um i think this is gonna be fun i'm looking forward to seeing how this shapes up and i may do um as much as i like these um i think i might save these for the city build and use um plates right and yeah it does it needs some nets and it definitely needs a lot of like little sort of like the a little accoutrement little thing accoutrement things um i'm trying to find out what happened to my because i thought i still had some additional yellow here i don't know what do you guys think of this i kind of feel like i want this to be a little bit more open and right now this is seeming very closed off because of the way these are so I have these I have these like shorter and I kind of like the idea of keeping it to um, a sort of a little bit of a stricter color scheme so maybe um, maybe it's the yellow and red boat and we'll use some regular bricks underneath to raise these up a little bit so that they're a little bit more like windows and the other thing that, um, the thing that I really like about that is it allows light to come in from the outside, right? Do you have Hammond the hamster? He could be a customer. I wish I do not, in fact, have any hamsters. Um, we thought we did. We thought we were so clever. We thought we had hamsters, and then we didn't. Um, yeah, the blue I just kind of grabbed because that was what we had. <laughs> sometimes, it's funny, sometimes I don't build in the colors I'm ultimately going to build in just because such and such is closer to hand. Like, oh, look, this is right there. I'll just grab it. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I think these are better. And then I can just make some some stacks in the back corners. And maybe I'll even do, maybe I'll do the back corner stacks in red so that, um, just to bring the red back into it. Here we go. And I mean, realistically though, you're not even gonna really see these, right? And I, and, but I do like the idea of having some like red columns here. So like maybe a stack of red one by twos that goes up. I just wanna finish that off nicely. Um, but until then, I can go ahead and, oh my goodness, itchy eyes. Let me go ahead and fill in my, my sushi bar here, like where I want the bar to be. And of course we have to have, even though it's not real, like a real amount of space, we need to leave, leave like a little bit of room for the, um, the, the sushi chef to get in and out, right? I know that the pan put itself away, exactly. It was very Mary Poppins-y. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure that we we still have room for everybody to sit, but we also, but you know what? Whatever. I can't believe that I'm trying to be realistic about my <laughs> sushi barge. <laughs> well, it has to have a place for the guy to get in and out. No, it doesn't actually. Um, just calm down, Grandpa. <laughs> um, so I think this. Maybe here. And then now I want to put on a little bit of, like I wanna make sure that there's a little bit of a ledge here. So I think if I can find a, well, I'm probably gonna to have to use a one by N and a two by N plates uh, together to kind of make a little countertop. Because I do, I definitely do want there to be a little bit of a ledge. So, like this, perhaps. Hmm. All right, there we go. And then I could use, um, I guess I could use another one sort of across on the other side, right? It could hang off on both sides a little bit. Actually, I like that better because it gives us more room to put fun stuff, right? Oh, Jamie Baker, pretend opening with just a plate across the gap at the end. You know, that's that's a great that's a great idea. Let's do that. It adds a little variety, right? That's fun. There you go, right? So it looks like it, right? There's a little there's a little gap. Not that anyone will be able to see it really, but you know what? I don't care. I love stuff like that. I love little things that only, you know, they're just the stuff that you put in for you as an artist. Um, they don't have to be, you know, exactly the same as what, so, uh, as what somebody else would do. Or, or even if nobody notices it, you know it's there. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, um, Albert, I think I'm gonna give up the water wheel in favor of the tires. Um, I've, I'm starting to feel like the tires um, are a little bit more in keeping with it and that the water wheel is gonna take up so much room that it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna have room. So, yeah. Um, Oh, you know what, also too, actually the water wheel could go on the back facing this direction. Though that doesn't make any sense. It would just, this is a bit in a circle. It would like move sideways. 
Um, yeah, that makes zero sense. Sorry, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, all right. And I want to see here how my customers are going to look sitting in their chairs. All right, so I can see that that's, this is as far as I have to do that. Like, like this is as close as I'm going to be able to have the chairs to the counter, unless the counter is taller. But this is fine. So, a pig and a panda walk into a sushi bar. <laughs> and let's see. I'm a big fan of these monkeys. Maybe the monkey, monkey is working behind the bar. Well, his blue shirt will certainly make him stand apart from everybody else. Right? So we've got <laughs> this guy sitting in. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to want to add, like, I am going to want to add that fence. And I need to find a place to add, like, I have to find a place on the roof to add my Duplo whale, who's going to be sort of like the big thing on the top. Right? <laughs> so that's telling me that I'm going to need to build up at least I'm going to have to build up a row of bricks right like this I'm going to have to build up a row of bricks and then because I really I like I'm really attached to this idea of having there be um, an awning but maybe maybe the awning doesn't have to be as tall as I'm thinking, or maybe it doesn't have to be as much as I'm thinking. I was thinking of doing something um, tilted, uh, or you know, like with a with a hinge. But now I'm thinking, oh no, where's all of our slopes? Ah, sorry, I'm gonna grab our slopes over here. Richard had so much stuff pulled out for us to use today. Now, it's funny, like, I feel like with this, we kind of have to walk that line between fun and, um, and creepy. Now, I have some of these pieces that have, like, little decorations on them, which might be kind of fun. But overall, I'm thinking that this is the kind of... This is the kind of roof that needs to be had here. Ooh. Also, don't want, I also want to make sure that I don't cover up too much of the, um, the bar itself. Because we want to be able to see... Right? Like, we want to be able to see what's going on in there. Let's see. go and here all right so this is where especially if I so I, I'm thinking that I'm I was thinking I was gonna add on the red stripe in the front but now maybe not I don't know maybe it just needs to be yellow stripe but I'm thinking that this length of um if we have enough this is the length or the the kind of slope that i would like to do right um oh, here's another one and these this is funny too because this is always the thing that richard does he's like oh let me go and he goes and dumps it out on a blanket or whatever and then <laughs> i just don't know if i have Sorry for the noise, everyone. Um, to keep building up and up. So that about that seems like about as far as I want to go, height-wise. Like I don't, I don't think I want to go much further than that. And that's actually already too high. Like I think it needs to, I think it needs to just slope up as high as this, right? 
and then it's gonna get and then it'll get red bricks like in the back that come up to a flat part here and then that's where the whale lives and i think that it, that should put it like and i don't know what you guys think of this but i do have this giant duplo fish that i was thinking is like it just taking up the entire counter <laughs> um you know it's funny like i almost feel like i would like to maybe this is more appropriate for the size of this is this duplo fish but darn it all i i really do think that despite wanting to use this this piece that the whale is too big i feel like the whale is too big what do you all think I'm interested to hear what your take on this is because I feel like it's too big. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? Whale? Fish. I don't know. I mean, I like the fish, but then again, too, it doesn't really make that kind of statement. Like, that whale really makes a statement, right? Um, so, I'm going to stick with the whale. See, and this is why it was so hard to build quickly on Lego Masters, because, dang it, I go through, like, we go through these things, they're like, oh, maybe we should try this. No, no, we'll try that. Um, here's some more. Now, my only, the only thing I'm discovering here is I'm not being able to find a whole lot of ones of this size. And, um, let me see. Yeah, I do. I do kind of love the whale. All right, I won't give up the whale. Um, but here's a, okay, here's a question that I go over with all the time. Oh, the fish on the bow. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, Brickinista. I love that idea. It's just fun. It's like a collaborative build with all of you. <laughs> whale eating the fish. <laughs> goodness y'all are hilarious um right i think that's looking about as tall as i would want to go with this so let's go ahead and and i kind of almost don't mind <coughs> the giant hole busted out in the front um it kind of makes it seem a little more broken and also what i like about it is it provides an opportunity for the audience to see what's actually going on inside um, so, let's see, let me go ahead and build up around here, this, well, I am, I am just, you know, I'm like surrounded by boxes of, by boxes of bricks, like I will not be able to leave the room. I don't know if Richard will be able to leave his office. That's how many bricks are on the floor <laughs> right now. You know, and there's, you know, I was, um, I was serious about this, right? Like, if you don't have the, if you don't have the bricks, sometimes you just gotta make it work. <laughs> like, I've definitely done that before. Oh, we'll just put a construction worker minifigure on it. <laughs> and then it looks like they're working. Wailing Jennings. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a, a yeah, this is some kind of like weird seaside like port town. I don't know. No idea. All right. Uh, let's go. It is a whale of a sushi bar. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I wish I could get it to turn. Like that would be amazing. Um, all right, so I, unless I can find, let's see if I can find some other. Oh, there's this, but I hate that thing. <laughs> I remember that. Is that McDonald's? Like, what is that thing? I know there's some really weird printed pieces um, 
that I've seen, and like that's just I don't know. It's a little it's a little upsetting, y'all. <laughs> oh, so many bricks. Well, I don't see. Aha! Here is a, a two wide one. Exactly what I need for there. And maybe I'll have to do another search through later to see like what might and what I might find. Alright. Alright, I will I'm gonna give up on this for now. Um just because too much noise. But I'm, I can, you can see I'm starting to really, this is exactly what I was hoping for. It was just, just like a little, um, a little check, right? Like a, a little check, a little shack. I just wanted like this little shack here, all right? So now I got to figure out like, okay, so what's going to go here? I love the idea of like the barrel with, with the fish in it. And I want this to have some kind of like kooky chimney that comes off, like a er, e, er. although I don't know. There's no uh, there's no fire inside, so maybe a chimney isn't. But golly, it just seems very like um, it just seems very um, Popeye to have like a kooky chimney that comes out of of it. Like, er, er. Um, Oh yeah, I guess there would be that little, the little, the wheelhouse would be here. You're right. You know, I don't really know anything about boats, so. Uh, all right. So I am super psyched about this. Let's keep going here. And actually, we are about at time for today. Um, but I'm gonna put these last few bricks on here. Now I don't know how exactly I'm going to attach the, um, oh, Lorene, you know what? You're right. Um, there probably isn't room on the top, um, for the chimney with the whale. You're exactly right. So, although the, um, the wheelhouse could have the chimney on it, right? Um, what's that kind of sound did that the, <laughs> is that what it, er? I don't know. I make up ridiculous noises. Um, Anyway, here's a look at it with the whale on top. And I do actually, now that I see it, think it's kind of the perfect size, right? I want to have somebody fishing from the polluted water, Albert, and I couldn't get a Fabuland fishing rod to save my life. Like, they were so stupid expensive. They were like, ridiculously expensive. <laughs> Fallen Tree 23, you are too much. Um, but yeah, I love, uh, I love this idea of adding like a little extra wheelhouse that has like a little, maybe this, this way slanted roof on it to add a little bit, but yeah, I love this. Now it's just a matter. I gotta, I gotta work with Richard to figure out how to attach the sushi. And I think of course that the whale has to have his mouth open a little bit just because it's extra cheerful like that. Okay. So somebody suggested something before and now I want to see what it looks like. All right. So what do you think we can do? the 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 whale on top with now people were suggesting the fish as a masthead which could be fun the other idea is that the whale is eating the fish <laughs> and is that like <laughs> i don't know is that kind of funnier in a way I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it, right? It's like the it's like a pig um, wearing a chef hat and serving barbecue. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so anyway, we'll see. But yeah, I am I'm liking the way this is turning out. I want to add. I do want to add that little wheelhouse that you were just talking about. I think that sounds like such a good idea. I just wonder. Can I add it on without it seeming, you know, and the other thing too is I kind of want it to, be, yeah, the whale eating the fish is pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, if, if I can secure it in the mouth, I will absolutely do that. And I'm not, I am not above using a little bit of, um, you know, like sticky tack 
to make to make my point. I'm just saying. Oh, finger puppet figurehead would be good. Um, I think that would be really fun. Um, but I am digging this. I think this is looking really good. And let's see what happens if I add on that little extra. Oh, how's it going? I'm okay, sorry. There's That's things okay. everywhere. I think today turned into boat day, not train day. I just, um, sorry, I just got back out of a very detailed meeting. Um, I'm glad I can join you to sort of, um, and see the huge storm of stuff. Yeah, I was, was I was afraid you weren't going to be able to actually make it back into the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I we've gotten barricaded in by bricks before. Well, I think this is adorable. Um, and you've got your sushi chef um, and the guests there enjoying their sushi. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I was. Um, Let's see, it's considering that building Lego wheelhouses is in your wheelhouse. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think eating it too is really is is a is a really good idea. Speaking of wheelhouse, wheelhouse, is there a control station up here? Is that what's going on? Well, I was thinking about that. So a wheelhouse is great. However, I do want to make sure that I have room for. Um, first of all, people need to have room to get on the boat, and our plank is going to be here. And I also wanted like a storage shed area for um, for like I wanted a barrel of fish and stuff. So this is what I'm thinking, y'all, is that um, in order to like compress room, this was like an old boat, like like a just a boat that was falling apart that somebody built a shack on, um, maybe using little bits left over from. Um, you know, from other things. Right. So but... we're not sea we're not seaworthy, we're not really swamp worthy, we're like worthy of staying put, right? Yeah, and I think um I think like once I add the little like once I add the gangplank on and 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 there. So yeah. I have a an idea. What's that? I don't know if it could work or not. Um you've got this window this window right here. What if you build a wall to the left of it and you say there could be a shack here but it could also be part of the old like control station. Yeah. And someone could come in here and be in this shack and be able to talk to the chef through this window. Oh. So like an extended practical space. Got it. So you're talking like yes. that. <clears throat> yeah, and then it could have a cute little other window where it could be have a broken down wall. I personally I'm having challenges trying to figure out how to make this stuff look broken down without introducing darker colors. Yeah, um, yeah. And we're making progress on that, but that's one of the hard things because I want to make everything cute, right? I mean, I love apocalyptic building. When I see Fabulan, immediately it becomes cute. Right. Well, so you need we need to figure out a way to make this a broken down barnacle barge is what yes. you're really saying. Well, and can we hang like plants off of it? Like there's plants growing. Well, I was um, I've decided to forego the water wheel, which will be too big and block it to go with tires hanging off the front on chains like they okay. did on the on the Monkey Kid Secret HQ. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think maybe two. And a ladder or two there, and, and then, then like a, a ladder a here. And then a plank. That's how people get on. Sure, like everything in Fallout is like ramps up to things. Yeah. And then so what if they've made some kind of like makeshift, shouldn't there, like he's cooking something? And there should be like a, a ramshackle chimney coming off. We thought of, we we talked about that, yeah, like a chimney. But um, there is unfortunately not enough room with the whale on the top for the chimney to work. Oh well, I think they would. Um, I think they would rig it up, um, Jimmy rig it, and and just shoot something out the window or something, right? Like in Mad Max, wasn't it all like everything was was combustion engines that they like made themselves and then retrofitted stuff that yeah. might be a way to ramshackle it out is by punching through that window yeah we'll see i think uh, but i don't want to come have in some right. ideas you've you've all been working together on this for an hour and i came in with my all of my ideas that's okay we're I actually like the progress um, you made thanks yeah we're just we got the came up with some ideas for some stripes and things like that but cool. i um here, I can get close to the table. I actually was thinking about adding on the um, the water wheel on the back as like a motor wheel rather That's than a water wheel. That's what I'm talking wheel. about. Like they would... Yeah. Let's see. Uh, 
So on huh? the, the next time we build together, I will have made more progress on my train. Um, <laughs> here. There's not a lot going on with it, but I have the, um, the steam chamber here. Um, and I'm going to make a cute cabin on the back of it. And there was a door that got, um, I think it got eaten by the... It probably did. Yeah, so at any rate, it'll have a cute little red and yellow door on the side of it. Oh, look at that. Yep. Ooh, who knows? I know. Mm -hmm. But we'll talk more about trains. I've pulled some inspirational photos of not only Fabuland trains, but just regular choo-choo trains. Yeah. Uh, you know, engines. So where are we at, Flynn? Well, I, we are I'm at sorry the end I of the show. I missed so much of the stream, but um, I was doing a good job at work. Well, that's important. Yep. Especially if we want to be able to keep doing the stream. I know. It all kind of works <laughs> together, right? So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us today and um, helping along with the, um, um, with the build and stuff. That was really fun to kind of like, do a little bit of an... Uh, uh, using people's ideas that they had in the chat. Yeah, Some really we've good ones. come to this thing where we've just decided, like, um, we're less nervous about building, uh, maybe we should be more nervous, but um, we're less nervous about building like this being boring and more about let's build together. Yeah, exactly. I think that's fun. Um, so, golly, hope you are going to continue using the next couple weeks to work on your Fab Max builds. I know that we will be... Um, we will be revealing yes. um, our secret project on Friday. Yeah, if we had built on um, Fab Max as much as we built on that other project, um, yeah, well, we're going to do that kind of build sessions coming up. Yeah, it's we'll fun. definitely be doing that. We haven't had marathon build sessions for a while like we did during our bigger projects. It's and true. we're getting back in the flow of that, like how to keep going in between Logan cookie time. <laughs> 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 you did Logan cookie time all on your own. I know, and I, again, failed uh -oh, to throw him no. a cookie that he was able to catch. We have a lot of practice. You know, like, Flynn and he have their own things. Logan <laughs> and I have our own things. Well, thanks, everybody, so much for joining us today. Uh, don't forget, if you want to email us something, you can oh. do so at... Um, Flynn at trickybricks.com. Oh, there it is. Flynn at trickybricks.com. If you it's want to right send us the something in, uh, in, through snail mail, you can do that to Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, Oakland California, California, 94611. Wow, that's um, getting almost like harmonies. Yes, and we do have... Um, Almost. Uh, we do have something waiting at the post office. We should go check it out. Maybe we can go tomorrow yeah. to the post office. Um, and don't forget, everybody, that you do have extra time for your Fab Max. Fab Max is not due this week. It is due the following week. And that's a good thing um, for us. And, and also, too, let me know if for some reason um, you don't want to uh, be included uh, in the the showing oh, the at BrickCon, Brick yep. please just make sure and make a note so that we know not to include that in there. It's true. Um, uh, as, uh, Lorraine says, I like the build together. What you are saying out loud in your building and decision making process is similar to what I go through during builds, even when it's silly thoughts. Oh, right, I'm so weird. glad. I'm so glad. And that's the only way to do it is to, to just do it, right? Right. I mean, you go through so many iterations and ideas and thoughts, and maybe this would work, maybe that would work. And it's always so nice to um, not be in a vacuum. You yeah, know. I think so. Yeah. I think we make a lot of progress when we build together. We we often divvy up projects, so we're working on separate things. But right. when we can talk back and forth and reason out things, um, I think it really helps. Indeed. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for joining us today. We will be back on Wednesday at 10 a.m., probably doing more of this. Um, and Yeah, I bet, right? But uh, until then, everybody, please make sure that you stay safe. Stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Happy building. <laughs>